So today I'm going to explain and also answer a few questions about the water lock feature on your Apple Watch Ultra. Now this is currently the most advanced Apple Watch and it's actually rated for 100 meters underwater water resistance, which is insane. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the water lock feature. So if you slide up from the bottom of the screen, you should find a water lock feature, which when you turn on, it locks your screen. And now the screen, as you can see, is unresponsive. And that feature is enabled for when you're going inside the water. Because normally when you get into water, the water sometimes pushes the screen, which tricks the screen into thinking it's being touched and you get those phantom touches on the screen of your watch. Now the water lock feature is designed to prevent those phantom touches. Now, the question you might be asking is, do I need to turn it on before I get into water? Now, usually, as soon as the watch detects that you're inside water, for instance, when you start a swimming workout, or when you just get into water and it detects you're in water and you didn't turn it on, it's going to turn it on automatically. The second question I want to answer is, is the watch still water resistant even without water lock feature being enabled? And the answer is yes, because water resistance is in the hardware itself. The watch itself is water resistant. No water will get in even if you forget to turn on the water lock feature. The only thing you might get is some phantom touches on the watch screen, but the watch itself is secure from water. Now, the other question I want to answer is how do you disable or remove the lock screen feature? Now, because your watch is not touch sensitive at this point because it's water locked and you can see the water lock icon at the top there. So to turn off the water lock feature, press and hold the crown and keep holding. And it's going to play that sound. And as it plays that sound, it's going to be trying to remove all the water that's in the speakers and all the microphones and all the holes on your Apple Watch. So that sound it plays is specifically designed with the right frequency to eject as much water as it can from the lock screen. Now, if for some reason you feel like not enough water was removed, then you can do it manually. Simply enable water lock and then go ahead and try to disable it by pressing and holding the crown. And you can repeat that process as many times as possible until the Apple Watch ejects as much water as possible. So that's how to use the water lock feature. And I hope I've answered every question you had about this feature. If you have more questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. But until the next one, my name is Chris, and I'll talk to you guys soon.